Hi, I'm Kalle Gustafsson, senior engineer here at ABB Robotics, Vastras, Sweden. Today I'll present ABB's Robot Web Services and the Omnicore app SDK. Robot Web Services is a powerful HTTP-based interface, enabling external applications to interact with the controller. It unlocks the ability to create web apps that can be run from any web browser. The Flex Pendant comes with an integrated browser. Here, the Omnicore App SDK provides a powerful set of libraries to help create your own apps. Let's get started. Robot Web Services is a REST-based network interface. REST is a widely used set of principles for API design, which very simply put leverages the HTTP protocol used in standard web browsers. Robot Web Services provides access to a large portion of the controller's resources and functions. Typically, it can be used to create, read, update and delete those resources. And in many cases, it can also be used to subscribe on the resources, allowing the application to react on changes. This is achieved using the WebSocket protocol. Any client capable of HTTP communication can also use Robot Web Services, including standard web browsers. Messages and responses from Robot Web Services can be formatted using JSON or XML, whichever is preferred by the client. Robot Web Services is a part of the controller software so no installation on the client is necessary. The documentation, however, can be found on the Robot Studio Developer Center website, as pointed out by the red arrow. The Omnicore Flex Pendant allows users to run custom web apps integrated as part of the Flex Pendant shell. Such apps are developed using standard web technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Simply deploy the web app under home on the controller file system, as shown to the upper right. You should also add a small XML manifest file, shown to the lower right, allowing the Flex Pendant to automatically discover the app and then create an application launcher icon on its start screen. The web app will run in a standard browser, which means that most standard third-party web development frameworks and toolkits can be used as preferred. A web app on the Flex Pendant is loaded by the Flex Pendant from the controller, which uses Robot Web Services as a web server. The web app consists of static files only. It is not possible to generate pages dynamically on the controller. Instead, for dynamic information and interaction, the web app should use JavaScript to request such information from the controller using Robot Web Services. JavaScript can also be used to dynamically update the graphical representation of the app accordingly. Now, let's take a look at the Omnicore App SDK, which makes life a bit easier as an app developer. As mentioned earlier, a web app is developed using standard web technologies. It is also possible to use most generic third-party frameworks and tools available from the web development community. While not strictly required, the Omnicore App SDK provides three main areas of support for the developer. First, there is a Robot Web Services client library for JavaScript, which hides a lot of the complexity of using Robot Web Services directly. Second, there is a UI components library, which can be used for creating UI widgets similar in look and feel to those used natively within the Flex Pendant shell. Both the Robot Web Services client library and the UI components library can also be used in web apps running on external web browsers, such as laptops, tablets, or smartphones. And last, there is a Flex Pendant integration support library, which can be used for interaction with the Flex Pendant shell itself. 
An example of this would be to receive notification that the app is now shown on the screen or hidden in the background. We will now go a bit more into detail. The Robot Web Services client library, as mentioned, is a JavaScript abstraction layer for accessing Robot Web Services. It takes care of a lot of the work required when using Robot Web Services, such as making correctly formatted requests and unpacking of the responses. It also has built-in functionality for unpacking complex rapid data values, including records and arrays, into JavaScript objects. Subscriptions are also supported, making it easy to track changes on the controller without having to set up WebSockets and deal with subscription groups within Robot Web Services. Robot Web Services is a quite extensive API and not all parts of it are covered by the client library. Currently there is support for Rapid, CFG, IO, various controller states, UAS, file system access and e-logs. Should the more rarely used parts of Robot Web Services be required, there is also support for making custom requests. Here is a simple JavaScript example where we first create a handle to the my variable rapid variable located within the my module rapid module on the trob1 rapid task. The client library will make sure that the variable exists on the controller. If not, an exception will be thrown. On the second line, the handle is used to get the current value of the variable. The handle can also be used for other purposes, such as updating the value on the controller or setting up subscriptions. The UI components library includes a set of reusable UI widgets, such as various buttons, switches, menus, sliders, indicators, and components for data visualization. There is support for safe input from the user, where the acceptable input can be specified. When used correctly, this guarantees that an input field will never contain an invalid value. When making a web app for Omnicore, it is often desired to have multiple views on the same web page. The UI component library offers several reusable solutions for this, in the form of view containers, which can be navigated using different methods such as tabs or hamburger menus. A copy of the Omnicore app SDK can be found on the Robot Studio Developer Center website. The package includes the libraries in the form of JavaScript and CSS files and also a full documentation with a couple of examples. I hope this has been valuable for you. Thanks for watching.